What's up guys, back again, bringing you a video today about Kiesel. I've talked about Kiesel in the past. I've been on the fence with these guys for a long time because I've heard goods and bads and um, I've been reading a lot of stuff about Kiesel lately and it seems as though when it comes to Kiesel it's like they have great guitars, the quality is great, the finish is great, I mean the quality is just, it's really top tier and you're getting really good quality for a really affordable price because I mean they're making it right there at Kiesel you're not having it outsourced or from a third party and there's a middleman and all that stuff so uh, what I've what I've gathered is that the quality is great but the customer service is atrocious and maybe it has to do with this Jeff guy I think the Jeff Kiesel whatever his name is is kind of a thin skin he has a big ego and that's fine I mean I really don't care that's not it has nothing to do with my purchase, you know, the customer service, because if the if they make a great guitar, I'm not going to have to deal with customer service. So I've been looking at these guitars here on Kiesel's site and kind of I'm looking at the Aries, the Vader and the Osiris. And I I looked at the Vader versus the Osiris and really there's not much difference except for the cut in the back, um, the back here by the tremolo, the cutout is really the only difference between the Vader and the Osiris, and I think the Vader comes with a neck-through option also. But man, I'll tell you, when you look at this Kiesel site and you look at all the stuff that you can do with their guitars, I mean, this stuff just gets flat-out crazy. Of course, I'm sure the price is going to reflect. I mean, look at this quilt here. Look at that. Look at that. It's a blue and white. It's hard to do a, like a white, too, because you have to actually bleach the wood. But man, when you look at some of the stuff you can do here on Kiesel when it comes to these finishes, I mean, these guitars are just, they're really, really beautiful instruments. And the thing is, a while ago I had a car that I sold to one of my friends and I sold it for like $2,000. And so I had had this little kind of pocket money, this $2,000 cash that's been sitting in my pocket for like, I don't know, like three years. I've never really decided what to spend it on. But I think I might have to go ahead and just pick up a keys. I mean, look at these guitars, man. Yeah, these are just beautiful. Of course, you know, I like Flame Maple, but I'm more of a quilt. I mean, God, look at this right here. Isn't that just beautiful? And, you know, you don't have to get every option. If, if I was to really get, like, everything I wanted, these guitars would probably be, like, $3,500. So I am going to have to cut back in some areas. But really, a lot of stuff is cool about Kiesel is like their ebony fingerboards are standard. Um, uh, a lot of the options that you can get aren't that much money. I mean, the most expensive option really when it comes to some of this stuff is like a neck through or a three-piece body. The quilts and flame maples are about 400 bucks um, if you choose that option. But I mean, to me... You know, when it comes down to how these guitars look, that's great. But I also want it to play well. And I've heard that, I know that Kiesel has this return policy that, um, you know, if you don't like it within 10 days, return it. And I'd really hate to do that. You know, I'd like to get this right on the first try. So if any of you guys out there have a Kiesel, you know somebody that has a Kiesel, maybe you've played one at a store or NAM or whatever, um, let me know because I'd really be curious to see what some of the opinions are. I mean, I've watched a lot of videos and people really rave about their Kiesel, and so I guess that's kind of a testament to how good the quality is, or if you're partial to a, a Ares or a Vader or Osiris. I might go with the Osiris just because I don't want to have that trim smacking against my leg, but um, I think it's time to just go ahead and spend a good chunk of money on a really nice guitar instead of having a bunch of crap guitars. Um, and so I think we're just going to have to go with Kiesel. God, this is so nice. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Whew, so nice. And I'll talk to you soon.